Hey there, Joey from DayJobHacks.com. I am back at it. Took a month off over the holidays, but I'm excited to be back to do a video about affiliate marketing today. I'm gonna to talk about five ways we can increase our odds of winning at affiliate marketing, and I'm going to compare this to playing poker. I love playing poker. If you like playing poker, you're gonna like this video. Let's just say there is a way to win at affiliate marketing by implementing certain tactics that would almost be the same tactics you use when you win at a a game of poker okay and I'm gonna explain that here in this video so if you like videos that aren't your typical guru talking about affiliate marketing tactics that never work then make sure you subscribe to my channel where I talk about the real deal affiliate marketing methods what's actually working behind the scenes real day tactics okay like subscribe all that fun stuff let's get into the video and talk about these five strategies you can implement and how to decide when you have a winning hand So whether you've played poker or not, it doesn't really matter. You're going to understand some of the concepts I'm talking about and you're probably gonna have some of these key questions that I'm going to answer as we go throughout this video. So the first thing I wanna talk about today is bankroll management, okay? Bankroll management means you have enough money to sit at the table. Basically the same thing applies when you're setting up affiliate marketing campaigns on paid traffic sources, okay? One of the biggest questions people ask is how much money do I need to start an affiliate marketing campaign? Well, this really highly depends on many different factors. One of the biggest things you need to consider is what traffic source you're using. So if you're using Facebook, if you're using Google, if you're using native ads, search ads, all of those different traffic sources require different bankrolls, okay, or different strategies. Same when you sit at the poker table, you need to have mostly, most of the time, 10 times the big blind, which uh, most of you probably don't understand what I'm talking about, but if you play poker, you know what I'm talking about. You need to have 10 times the initial bet in order to get into a table game, okay? Um, it, it same applies if you're, if you're running a CPA affiliate offer on a paid traffic source, okay? It kind of makes the same sense. If you're getting paid $50 for a, a CPA affiliate offer, then you should probably have $500 to test that offer on most of those traffic sources, okay? Now, you can increase your odds of winning much easier in affiliate marketing by understanding certain tactics on how to buy paid traffic and how to set certain targeting methods in place. So you target certain countries to reduce your cost. You target certain demographics or your target market. I've done a complete video on how to define your customer avatar. So if you can go in knowing who your audience is when you buy traffic, you can spend less and have a much better chance of success, okay? So these are things you can do to increase your odds when you're running paid traffic. So again, you're gonna need a real strategy on how to manage your bankroll. You need money that you can afford to lose. When you go to a poker table with $1,000, if you, if you can't afford to lose that $1,000, then you shouldn't be sitting at the poker table, okay? The same applies if you're going into Facebook ads with your first thousand dollars and you can't afford to lose a thousand dollars, then you should not be buying Facebook ads. You should be doing some other type of traffic strategies like search engine optimization, which is free. We have a free course at powerhouseaffiliate.com that talks about how to do that free type of traffic, okay? Next, let's talk about slumps, okay? Slumps happen in anything we do, especially affiliate marketing. You can go on a slump, you, you try everything. You're trying campaigns on Bing, you're trying campaigns on Facebook, Google, you're trying SEO, you're trying email marketing, everything fails, you don't know where to go, and it's just really starting to suck, okay? That happens in poker too, okay? We play, we sit at the table, it seems every single hand we play, we're getting crap cards, every cut or every flop is brutal and, and everybody just keeps winning and everyone around you is winning but you just can't seem to get the right hand. Okay, this happens, happens to everyone, even me. It happened actually last month. Things just kind of went out of shape. You know, you have a BMOB, for example. Somebody hacked into my BMOB tracking platform and changed all my landing page URLs to some scammy casino offer, okay? So bye-bye BMOB, I won't be using you anymore, but these are things that happen and we have to get through these slumps, okay? It happens to the best of us. So the key here is to understand you're not alone. Go into some other groups and forums and talk to people. Just see that there are people having success. You will get out of this. Um, refocus your efforts and really 
focus on one traffic source, one offer, and just start looking at it with a good analytical mind to try and make it work. And we do have, again, more content on that on our website down in the description, other videos on this channel, just check them out. Focus on one thing and get out of that slump. Next, I wanna talk about going on tilt. This is something that happens in the poker world a lot. You lose a whole bunch of hands in a row and you start becoming an idiot at the poker table. You start doing ridiculous things that don't make sense and you start wasting money, okay? You're basically going all in on, on cards that aren't working. Um, you're, you're making seriously ridiculous bluffs. All these kind of things happen when you're on tilt. The same thing happens in affiliate marketing. We start doing really ridiculous things. We start uh, you know, exploring some really aggressive tactics and all of a sudden we we end up with no accounts left our, our facebook ad account gets banned our google ad account gets banned we're doing things that just wouldn't normally work anyway but we're just trying to throw everything at the wall and hopefully something sticks okay this happens again how do we get out of going on tilt well again you need to really take a break that is exactly what i did last month i took a break off youtube just kind of sat back refocused and, and came back with a plan of attack, set my goals, all of that kind of stuff so that I'm ready to come back with a game plan that is going to work, okay? Um, really, uh, it works well if you have the patience to go into your data and really start looking at what's happening rather than just making rash decisions. The next one, number four, is when do we fold? When do we quit a campaign, okay? Same applies in poker. When do we fold in our hand? When do we understand? At what point do we know we lost, okay? This is one of the toughest questions as an affiliate marketer, especially a paid media buyer. When do we know that we've exhausted all of our resources on this particular campaign? Well, Many people make the mistake of not testing everything that needs to be tested, okay? They, they, they might have the bankroll, they might have an unlimited budget, but they're actually just missing out on a particular combination of metrics that works, and they're missing out on that opportunity because they're only focusing on certain things. So for example, maybe you're only testing one country. Maybe you've only tested one landing page, one ad, one set of demographics and it failed and you spent your whole bankroll. Does that mean you have to quit on this particular campaign? Well, most people with a low budget and, and they're new to the game would quit at this point, but fail to understand that maybe you should have tested mobile on desktop with three landing pages and three ads, okay? So you really, it's like you're throwing everything in and you're trying to find that winning combination, okay? And it's very hard to do with a small amount of money. So it's kind of like gambling because if you don't have a lot of money and you're going into a campaign, you really have to hope that you get those metrics right the first time. And in order to do that, you need to have people on the inside working for you. For example, you need to have an affiliate manager that tells you, hey, this is working on desktop, okay? Make sure you target desktop. Hey, the best country for this offer right now is Germany. So make sure you target Germany desktop. Here's a landing page that might work for you. It's working for others. Maybe do something similar. And also when you're buying your traffic, you want to make sure you're targeting the right options. So make sure you're talking to your ad reps, especially on native ads and push ad networks. Okay. These networks are known for rampant traffic that just makes no sense. And it just comes into your tracker and you get like thousands of clicks with no conversions. Okay. If you don't have somebody working for you, on the inside, then you are going to fail, okay? So that is how you increase your odds so that you know that you've exhausted all your resources when you fold, okay? So that makes it so much easier to know when you're losing, when you've exhausted all your resources and when you should actually fold your hand, okay? The last one is I wanna talk about the campaign in general. A lot of people set up multiple campaigns, again, throwing shit at the wall, hoping that a piece of it sticks and that they win in the end, okay? This is a very tough approach, especially if you're starting out and you're trying to manage multiple campaigns. Trust me, you do not need multiple campaigns to make sick money online, okay? In fact, last year alone made over a million dollars with only two campaigns, okay? So you do not need multiple campaigns to make a lot of money online. You need a scalable 
campaign, okay? So rather than looking at your campaigns as hands, look at a campaign as when you're sitting at the poker table for the entire day. So when you go to a poker game, that is a campaign, okay? You're sitting there, you're analyzing people, you're learning about the table itself, you're focused only on that single game for the entire stretch, okay? You're not, you know, playing at six different tables and trying to win at each table. Especially if you're playing online poker and you're trying to play six tables and you're trying to understand all the metrics behind each table. Not gonna happen. So focus on one campaign, okay? Try it, try one traffic source. Look at all the options, understand what, re what went wrong, what went right, and then put all those pieces back together and try it again, okay? And try different strategies, try different uh, landing pages, different ads, and this is what is going to improve your odds of success, okay? So while affiliate marketing is kind of like playing poker, you really have better odds at success with affiliate marketing. Trust me, I've done both. I've played poker. I don't play as much poker anymore. I'm all about affiliate marketing because really the odds of success are so much better. And if you understand how to analyze data and all those fun things, then you're going to actually have success. So if you want more information about affiliate marketing, um, media buying, getting paid fast traffic to your landing pages and having success, Watch some more videos on this channel, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in my description for some more advanced training. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.